Well, it is a busy week of weather as we continue to keep an eye on what is it going to be Francine that will impact us later in the week. Here's what we know so far. Rain is looking likely by the end of the week. Could be some pockets of heavier rain in there, depending on your exact location. Some places may get more than two inches, but right now it's looking like west of the metro. Still unclear the exact storm track, who gets the worst of the rainfall, and how long the rain is going to last with Francine, which is why you're going to want to keep checking back with us for updates. Now, the official forecast from the Hurricane Center brings Francine on the Louisiana coast by Wednesday morning, possibly as a Category 2 storm before it makes its way basically to the confluence of the Mississippi and Ohio rivers here by Friday night over Cape Girardeau. Then it could really sit and stall, and that could, prov uh, that could prove to be problematic for some locations uh, in terms of the rainfall. But still, a lot of uncertainty here. So you're going to want to keep checking back with us. Weather Prediction Center saying a good amount of rain is possible, especially across western Kentucky. But for us here in the metro, looking like maybe as much as an inch or more possible, this will be changing a lot over the next couple of days. So that's why you're going to want to keep checking back with us for those updates. But today looks like another great day. Lots of sunshine, a little bit of haze from that upper level wildfire smoke. Uh, but that is about it. We're looking at a nice warm day, but low humidity values yet again as we go through the day. Notice tonight, these are the high clouds from Francine starting to work their way into the metro. And by tomorrow morning, we'll be pretty much along the Interstate 64 corridor. These are very high up in the atmosphere, but that's sort of the first signal that Francine is starting to make its way in our direction. But not today. Lots of sunshine, a little bit of haze out there with those highs expected to be in the mid to upper 80s few degrees warmer than it normally is for this time of the year. So really a, a very warm but comfortable day uh, to be outside. We'll see those high clouds starting to roll in here in the overnight hours, but still a very nice and comfortable night for sleeping overall as we'll dip into the 50s. Uh, then we'll start to see clouds increase more dramatically as we get toward Thursday, maybe overnight Thursday into Friday. We watch for those showers to develop. Uh, from Francine, but in terms of how widespread and long lasting they are, especially into the weekend, like I said, lots of uncertainty there. So you're going to want to keep checking back with us for updates.